Hi everyone, welcome to the training camp. My name is Shanice. And my name is Gary. This is a channel where we impart our knowledge to help you along life's journey. Likewise, we'll share a lot of fun and a ton of laughter. Please follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, to keep up to date with everything new. Ultimately, please be reminded to subscribe to the channel so that you will be notified whenever videos are posted. Please like the videos and leave a comment. Yes, we love to see those sweet little comments at the bottom of our videos. And when you comment, you might be chosen to be highlighted in our Make Noise section. So comment, comment, comment. With that being said, get your popcorns, yes. get your drink, and let's get in the mood. Yes. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, I am. Are you guys ready? Make sure. Let's get right into the video. Hey, boo. What's up, baby? Let's tell them our story. Oh yeah, let's take them all the way back. We come from Jamaica, from the ghetto to the top. Woo! Run wet left work life. I would not look back. Gary and Shani, take it straight to the top. Yeah. When I drop off, God have so, so, so grab your popcorn, your soda, your drink, and get in the mood. We teach you your life. Come on, yeah, that's what we do. From the ground up, don't play with us. We know what you can do. Sit back and watch your training. Come on, we take it to the top. Forever, we never gonna drop. Never. We had to take a lap round the track. Now we're back. Don't even say we hype, y'all. Please stop. Don't do that. Say what you want. We can't flop, we take it to the top Forever We never gonna drop No, never We had to take a lap round the track, now we're back Don't even say we hide, y'all please stop, don't do that Say what you want, we can flop We take it to the top Yeah We never gonna drop We had to take a lap round the track, now we're back mm -hmm. Don't even say we hide, y'all please stop why youtube well why not youtube <laughs> um why youtube um i think it has been a calling on our life right this platform youtube has been a calling on our life um for a very long time we have uh, this has been a part of our life for a very long time as well. Um, we used to video a lot of stuff, um, create videos just to post on, you know, our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and stuff like that. And we did it without thinking of anything bigger, you know? And so at this point in our lives, you know, I think God has placed that up on our hearts, um, the platform, YouTube, to take it, you know, what we love so much on a much bigger platform. So, yeah. Tell me, oh my God. Is it big? Is it big? My heart's set right. Thanks. My heart's set right. I would answer that question by asking a question, you know, myself. Why not, you know, YouTube? Um, why YouTube? For me, 
how I see it, you know, pertaining to our relationship and our journey, you know, for heading towards this quest or on this this um, this quest. YouTube is a platform where um, you know artists release his music and stuff like that for many years. But for many years now, as well, um, couples have been using the platform to, you know, just showcase their love for each other and be creative in, you know, a lot of ways. So I do believe that we have, you know, that personality for a very long time, um, you know, as a couple, as a unit, you know, and outside of that, um, having gone through everything that we've gone through, we believe that um, we can share a lot of our experiences, you know, we can extend our love to everyone in, in the sense of just try to uplift, you know, people, try to answer many questions that they have any assumptions anything like that also to use the platform to to just grow as uh as a people basically you know our experiences we can use as um you know just telling people about everything that we have gone through and stuff like that and just try to see if those can be antidotes to whatever problems they are facing Why no? Um, I think this is the perfect time for us. Like it says in our song, um, we took a lap around the track and now we're back. Um, we definitely took a lap. We, our life was never easy. We struggled. Um, a lot we face a lot of struggles a lot of obstacles in our lives um we had to relocate readjust evolve in a whole new environment and start basically start over life and we did it at a very young age and so for that i have to say kudos to us and thanks be to god for you know bringing us here so we have definitely um put in the work we definitely did you know all the groundwork set all the foundation and so we have reached a point in our lives where we think it's the perfect time the idea came and when we look at it we say okay it's a perfect time to start youtube to start um you know this new platform why now it's the right time nothing happens before the time in life um we if it was up to us you know we would have started this a long time ago but being on this journey we found out a lot of stuff a lot of things sometimes we're like okay yeah next month is the right time two months is the right time but every time we, we draw closer to those dates, it's like it keep on extending because we're learning a lot about the platform while facing a lot in life as well, you know. And so we just, we always pray about it and ask God that when the time is right, you just allow us access to the platform, you know, because we don't want to expose ourselves prematurely you know whenever that season or time of exposure comes we just want to make sure that we are equipped and ready you know and approved by God to say okay this is the right time you have my go ahead go do your thing so that's why you're seeing it now Three things I wish to accomplish for both me and my audience. Um, 
I hope that this YouTube channel will allow us to um, grow, allow us to evolve, allow us to accomplish everything that we have um, set out to accomplish, all our dreams, all our goals, because that that's the main aim of this YouTube channel is to help people along life's journey, help people to navigate life and make the best decisions possible um, for them. And so I hope that this YouTube channel can definitely help people along life's journey to just, you know, navigate and make better decisions that will allow them to live a fruitful life. And um, secondly, I hope that we will not only use all this knowledge for ourselves but then impart the knowledge onto others help others so share the knowledge because you know each one definitely teach one and so you know impart the knowledge and help somebody else to find their way and lastly i just hope that we all will just have fun have fun and and just enjoy this journey <laughs> Three things we wish to accomplish for both us and our audience. As mentioned, there are a lot of people out there that um, that's going through, you know, if we should like put the relationship, you know, aside just as individuals talking. I mean, for me, I represent men. For Shanice, you know, she represents women. I'm sure her experiences as a woman, my experiences as a man, you know, can definitely be, or I would, you know, suppose be, as I said, antidotes to many problems to what, you know, men are facing out there, or what women are facing out there, you know, so that's that's something that we wish to you know for our audience to definitely get on to and for us in return on on that you know on that note for us to actually see a growth you know a growth spur if and when you know whatever our story wherever our story should um land that you know those people will try to use it and try to create a change and stuff like that on the other hand um secondly i should say we wish to definitely show our love we love each other very much you know we respect each other you know so we just want to show the world because i just feel like you guys deserve it you know you deserve to bask in the opulence of you know two individuals that got together what nine years and some months now going on to 10 years you know and the love that we share and stuff like that we just we we, we celebrate this love and we just definitely can or we are not hesitant to basically show it to the world you know the other thing is also um to be a light basically be a light especially to you know younger folks and stuff like that healing from the garrison the ghetto jamaica you know i mean there's a lot of a lot of youths out there just like myself you know selling in the streets stuff like that that they need the footprints to a better place you get what i'm saying sometimes it, it success to everyone means something different you know let's just talk about a better place you know and i've tried those roads shanice in her own right i've tried those roads you get what i'm saying and you're gonna learn a lot about her story as well because it's very touching you're gonna learn a lot about my story you know it's very heartfelt as well and we just want to leave a mark you know so we will benefit from that and you guys will definitely benefit from that as well when you grow you know that makes us feel good and uh, come on like we haven't zeroed life as yet and we will never do that so we will learn a lot from our audience while our audience will be learning a lot from us as well so you know it's just reciprocity in its purest form i 
I believe the first thing that people will see when they look at the channel is um, how organized it is, how, uh, how much we have invested in it. Because just looking at it, you can see that it's not an overnight thing. You can see that it took a lot of planning. It took a lot of time and effort um, to make it possible. And so, yeah, I definitely want, I definitely think they're going to see that. And which is true. <laughs> it took a lot of time and effort. And um, I think they will see a united front. They will see, well, not a front, but just a bond um between myself and gary um which is which i think is kind of like none other and um they will see god they will definitely see a lot of godliness throughout the entire channel and which is definitely what we want them to get from our channel because we would never have we would not have made it this far without god and so we are definitely going to be including him in every single thing that we do i feel like the first thing people will see it's probably all oh, they have it together you know everything looks intact and stuff like that right um but what we would definitely want you guys to know from seeing that is that you are seeing fragments and a reflection of hard work right and if i may go deeper or explain on a more profound level no parents no parental support Right, Shanice and I have been in this city for many years. We have built a life for ourselves, you know. Um, all our, you know, parents back home and stuff like that. Um, no credit cards, uh, no external support, no vouchers, no nothing at all like that, you know. It's just us and God with our sweat, blood, and you know, and tears. And of course, we have to to give credence to those who have um, stretched out a, a, a hand, you know, throughout these years, um, just to assure us of, you know, the help that we needed, you know, but on this journey, for this journey being in this city for four plus years, or I would say five years and some change, you know, that was within that time, this whole quest started which you guys will be seeing you know so we just want you to know that it's definitely a lot of hard work getting here as cliche as it is trust me when you're definitely inside that dark place trying to fight yourself out it's it can be very tough you know so we just want you to know that that it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of sacrifice i'm talking about napping like we don't know bed we don't know sleep it's just napping trying to stay away from the bed because it's too comfortable and if you lay in it you probably will miss work and stuff like that so you try to like take a nap on the couch you know so that's that's what i'm saying it's just a lot of hard work uh let me see um okay if it's anything that you know adds to the intent at, um, from the initial stage of what we have and stuff like that uh for example let's say you guys look at it and you say okay they look like two upright two you know outstanding um individuals striving to do something you know you know a different realm and stuff like that then i would definitely endorse that and um, I would say, yeah, just please give us, uh, you know, your time. Give us your support. And trust me, we will not let you down. If this is going to create a huge shift in, the re in my relationship, um, I don't think so well. 
it's probably it's probably gonna create a shift but I don't think it's gonna be bad I think it's going to change our relationship to us being because we are already friends we're already lovers but it's kind of gonna add a business partner which mm, not really because we kind of have been business partners for a very long time so i don't think it's gonna change it much because we work together a lot we work together every single day and stuff like that it's just going to require a lot more work from us we're gonna have to put in a lot more work um over time stuff like that so we're gonna have to you know create some balance in the relationship when it comes down to youtube and you know our time so we're gonna have to just know set boundaries and know okay this is youtube time this is our time this is you know just set different boundaries within our lives so we don't cross them and then create problems but other than that, I think we're going to be good. I don't think it's going to create a huge strain on the relationship. I think we're going to have fun along the journey because this is, I think this is just us. This is us. We love working together. We do everything together. So I think we're going to have fun along this journey. Will this create a huge shift in the relationship? I wouldn't say it will create a huge shift. I would say it would definitely create a shift. Um, simply because Gary and Shanice won't be living their lives behind a camera anymore or living their lives on, I would say, um, a scale or a time frame in which we, uh, this like so let me break it down this will definitely create a shift right in the sense of taking a picture posting on instagram or doing a video you know posting on instagram willfully or you know you giving consent to it that's different from having a camera around you know turned on you not knowing because you're probably getting a prank or some some Thing like that you know so you guys will get to see the sides of us that we up front will not permit until we find out that okay you're actually in content mode or i've drawn you in content mode for example if i'm pranking shani she don't know what camera is on she's pranking me i don't know what camera is on and stuff like that so that would definitely create a ship likewise um everything that we do will be placed on a microscope for scrutiny you know um it, people may endorse what we do people may not like what we do you get what i'm saying so it will definitely create a shift but at the end of the day um my message is never be sorry for the life that you worked for and we we know the buckets of sweat that we put out for this life and we're ready for it and we're ready for everything that comes with it of course we may face some you know hard challenges along the way but um we're we're definitely destined for it and we're ready for it so god is in it and we're ready will it create a huge shift in my life um i think it has already created a shift but i think it's for the better because in this um youtube journey or on this youtube um, platform i do the editing and so i think it has pushed me to um be better at it because every day I'm editing, every day I'm thinking out of the box, what can I do? What can I do to make it better? What can I do to advertise the channel and stuff like that? So I think it has allowed me to shift in that way. Nothing negatively because one thing I must say, anything that we do, Gary and I, anything that we do, any step that we take in our life, it has only been for the better. Nothing, we have never taken a step to put us back. 
only to make us better so the shift is the shift that's gonna happen within our relationship where personally it's not gonna be bad i think it's gonna just only push us to be the best that we can be uh it was definitely the creative shift um in our lives you know just because i'm i'm the person who writes shanice is the person who edits you know the videos and stuff so every caption every deep-seated um thing that will be you know catapulted from this platform i will be the person that will be um writing it i i am more of like a structured person so a lot of you know things like i would say the equal equilibrium of the whole platform that will be me you know um so it will definitely create a shift in the sense of i would just no, I would. I'm going to always um, be like on it, on it, on it. Always thinking, always writing, always trying to, you know, find time, find space to make sure that I keep up my end of the bargain while Shanice is doing hers. So it will definitely be, you know, a great teamwork, you know, team effort for the both of us in our own right and stuff like that so that would be the shift basically you know making sure that we get out all these content to you guys in the packaged in the best way possible something that i wish to share about this channel is the whole aim of the channel is it's not just gonna be about pranks it's not just gonna be all fun and games and laughter even though definitely we're gonna do that we're gonna have tons of fun but it's going to be a learning experience it's going to be um a place well it's not gonna be a literal place but it's gonna be a place where you can come to gain knowledge to um be better make better decisions be a better person um build yourself you understand and build uh, uh, um break curses break generational curses like it's it's going to be a place where um you can just come and learn and then impart that knowledge um it's definitely going to be different it's going to be different it's going to i believe that this channel is going to change the life um because we plan on creating a whole movement with this channel we're going to very soon we're going to start moving into scholarship we're going to start moving into a whole foundation not to give everything away but we are thinking huge we're not thinking that this is going to be all just a youtube channel we don't think like that that's the one thing with us we don't we will never think like that and just looking at the channel i'm hoping that everybody sees that we definitely always think outside of the box we are not of this world we are not normal at all <laughs> that's what i think okay um some things that we wish to share jeez <sighs> a lot of a lot of just look out for a lot of pranks look out for a lot of um you know hook offs she needs with foods in school but i'm gonna school her right um she's a great cook uh let me say that uh great conversations you know um we just want young people to be expressive and be reminded that don't be fooled you know on this internet and this whole um virtual life and stuff like that you get what i'm saying and sometimes a lot of us we're carried away simply because we don't see footsteps footsteps footprints you know from individuals um that's going places you get what i'm saying and you know so we just want to show you guys that you can take the right route and end up to a great place you don't have to go in any vicinity of criminal activities or whatever it is to get to a place or whatever it is to, for you to feed your family you get what i'm saying so we've gone through a lot 
you know, and um, we just definitely want to share a lot with our, you know, on our platform topics and stuff like that, that we believe will be life changing and stuff. So those are some things that, um, that we definitely think will bring about a change. Um, so when we were creating this channel, we definitely was thinking outside of the box. We definitely wanted to be different. We definitely um, wanted to create an impact and not just be um, here, just be a YouTube channel. Um, and so we, we thought about all of that. We thought about everything and we thought about the fact that, oh, we just don't want to be doing pranks every single time. We thought about everything. And so uh, we came up with the idea of doing a talk show. And then from the talk show, we talk about what else it will bring, what else we will create and stuff like that. So just... Yeah, I just see we just see it growing and that's why we even um created a logo um and we even named it the training camp because we just believe that we as a people we're just always in training. We're always in training for something. Um so I definitely see this channel going far. Um and I think this channel is actually or um, it's actually going to be bigger than us and so we're just gonna have to let ourselves go and just allow god to direct us and use us and just lead us and you know in what he wants us to do so the channel's um prognosis or vision let me say even for the the logo right and for the name um let's talk about the logo for now so for the logo um Shanice is the one who designed that you know kudos to her she's great with designing and editing and stuff like that um when we we, we sat down I think it was like over a year ago we sat down and we were talking about how we wanted it to be and I was giving my two cents you know she was there creating giving her two cents as well and we said what can we create with you know the help of god that in five years 10 years 15 years or 20 years we can see on a shirt that it will not just be a movement or it was not just be a youtube channel but a movement you know a company something that where we can hire people and stuff like that and she came up with a, br a brilliant idea of how she created you know the um the logo and stuff like that and even on the mic you see two people like crawling up and stuff like that that's actually an exemplar an analogy you know uh, i would say like an illustrative analogy stating that through the experiences we have gathered through others experiences that we have learned from in the past you know we will use our platform and also for you know from our audience you guys that will be watching this you know that we will also be in connection with and learning a lot of stuff from we will um culminate everything together compact that in a proper package and so we will always distribute that on our platform you know so people can continue to climb up that rope you know so it's a rope stretched from the microphone through our voice through all the experiences you know where a lot of people will just get that access to the foot the footprints to better you know or to great success or what you call you know success so that's that's just the aim you know So the meaning of the training camp we actually wrote it down and so i just want to share exactly what it means so i'm going to be reading exactly what the training camp means okay just two crazily in love individuals who met in 2013 sent on our way by god ever since to go trek 
an arduous path journey with his commission to stay its course. That lap has been taken. Now we reverted unselfishly as a much more loving couple and a collective at large, while being armed and equipped with tools and gems that when shared will only help to usher you into your next. Likewise, aiding you to secede from a life perplexed. The training camp is not a literal place, but a space conducive to hesitance, hence courage, failure, and prosper, hard and smart work, love, and a whole lot of laughter. Here at the training camp, our mantra goes, we aren't morning persons, neither are we night persons, but we are a goal-oriented people. So whether life permits opportunities, night or day, we hunt for them any which way. Till the end of us, we are working our way joyously to our purpose, under the guise of some hot pranks, great creativity, workmanship, meaningful and spicy convos, with pure expression of immaculate love, to name a few. The stage is set, mics and lights are all flicked on, but the impact begins when you arrive. Be on time, your greatness awaits. I believe that sums up what the training camp is. Why the training camp, right? So the training camp, when I think about it, every great person that you see out in the world, whether on the TV that you meet in person, in the papers that you read about, you know, um, they all train. But if we should step away from greatness and look at it on a more civil base, we're always in training. For example, let's go to, you know, the lowest denominator. For example, um, bills, right? Monthly bills. All of us can attest to this, kid. I mean, we don't like bills, but we always have to pay bills, right? <laughs> it's demonic. <laughs> it's after that we shouldn't pay any bills because Jesus said he paid it all. But I mean, outside of that, um, so every first of the month, you have your bills to pay, right? 12 months in the year. If you pay your bills for January, right? It doesn't mean that when you pay that bill in January, it will suffice for February, for January through December. No, it will only suffice for January. What you have to do to make sure that you can pay your bills for February is that you have to go back to work. So you always have to work. So don't just look at it as, you know, the name training, or you can look at it like that, you know, it's, it's basically just saying everything that we do is a cycle and we never stop training, right? You get married to someone, your love doesn't stop at on the wedding day. You always have to continue to build upon your love. You have to show your affection and stuff like that. It's just like man maintaining your marriage, right? So you're always in training. How can I surprise my wife or my husband for her for the birthday? Or how can I do something special on a weekend, you know, for my kids or for my family and stuff like that? So you're just always thinking about innovative and new ways how you can be a better person whether to yourself or be a better person to others, you know, how, they, how, how you want them to receive you. So it's just all, you're always in training. You have a car, for example, again, you know, when you purchase the car, you don't just drive the car for five years or 10 years and never take it in for oil change or, you know, tire rotations or purchase new tires. Or if something is broken, you, you, you say, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna repair it. No, you always have to, keep up with the upkeeps you always have to maintain so that's basically training 
you know, you're always training in life. So before a trophy is lifted, before a medal is sported, you know, you always have to train. And after that, we always set our, our minds towards something else, a, a different goal, you get what I'm saying, or a further goal. So you always train towards that thing again. So we're always in training until the day we die. Giving back is something we talk about all the time. It's something that we, Gary and I here at the training camp, are looking forward to do um, when our channel, you know, gets bigger and stuff like that. We are definitely looking to start a foundation um, and that's something for um, to look forward to. We're excited about it. We're actually going to start um scholarship foundations back to school we're gonna help out with back to school we're gonna help out with um homeless elderly like we are going to get our hands in almost everything we're gonna help out in almost everything that's our heart that's our heart that's our calling and so um we're definitely looking forward to that Definitely, um, giving back is something that we've been um, thinking about for many, many years. We're, we're all for giving back. We're not for ourselves. You know, we always pray to God and ask him that um, whenever you elevate us, we just want to be those individuals that will definitely not keep everything to ourselves, but we will always disperse. We want to be the hands that, you know, the victors of spoils that will disperse whatever God has for his children to them. You get what I'm saying? So, um, with that being said, for us on our platform, scholarships will come, uh, you know, foundations, houses, um, just help out any which way we can, any, any way that you can think about, because I don't want to sit here and list out things that just sound cute and dandy, like whatever situation it is, you know, it could even be help out with like a, a, a meal or something like that. You know, help out with a graduation or help out with um, some clothes or any necessities. Anything that, you know, got place on our hearts, we will definitely um, ask him to point us into those directions so that we will, you know, be able to offer support and help. So yeah, 100%, we're all for that, giving back. We have been working on this channel for over two years, almost three years now. Um, we have been planning. We have created logos, created banners, um, invested into some hard, hard work, um, purchased all equipment because we wanted to be ready. We did. We always pray and ask God to never allow us to enter into something prematurely. And so we live by that. And so we believe that in every step of life, every level of our lives, we are supposed to be prepared, we're supposed to be equipped, and we're supposed to be ready. And so we made sure that we were ready for this step. And now we're finally ready. Yes, it's finally time to start. <laughs> We've been, so this channel I've been brewing for two plus years. Um, we definitely wanted to start a very long time ago. But uh, as I said, things just keep, you know, pushing back and delay. Everything just got delayed and stuff like that. It was a lot of things that um, we faced, but we're finally here now. So we're, you know, we're thankful, we're thankful. Um, three challenges we faced while on the road here. We faced so many challenges, um, but three, um, definitely time. Time was something that we struggled with. Finding time um, to invest into our channel. Finances, we had to put in extra work 
um, to get up all the equipment and everything necessary um, for the channel um, to make it look and um, you know be the way we wanted it to and three the third challenge that we faced was I'd have to say the third challenge that we faced was learning the third challenge that we faced was learning about all the new things that we had no clue about um and you know it was a challenge but it was a learning process but yeah um we didn't know about a lot of stuff and so we had to fully um indulge ourselves into you know the youtube world and learn all the terms and the softwares and how to use which cameras to use and stuff like that so yeah three challenges we faced geez the first one was we bought a camera and we swore to god that yes we're ready for youtube <laughs> only to find out that we definitely needed another camera or other you know gadgets and stuff like that so that the quality and everything and uh, the long um the duration of you know running that camera is long enough to suffice for what we needed to be or what we needed to do you know so that was definitely a challenge um i remember shanice and i our next one is i remember shanice and i um we went to new york uh this past november 2022 and um you know we were just doing some video shooting some contents and you know a lot of stuff just gearing up for our channel and stuff and everyone was just that we met that we knew from jamaica our friends and stuff everyone was just so pumped that okay as soon as the channel start shoot the text out to me i'll definitely subscribe and stuff and while on our way you know driving back home i looked at her in the, in the car and i was like shanice everyone is enthused you know about the channel and we're happy but now we have to go back home and make sure that we take it off the ground like we, we have to make sure that we establish this thing you know and it's gonna take a lot of work and just to see us be where we are right now trust me it's a great feeling like we had such a lengthy challenge between that thought that we had in the car and no like the timing everything we had to put in some geez the work was just so hard use you know so i mean we're finally here and um we just have to give god thanks definitely have to give god thanks because it it's like he can just breathe, you know, a breath of sight. Yeah. Any fears? Um, I think I'm a little bit nervous about pranking Gary. <laughs> but I think that's something I'm definitely going to get over. And um, any fears? I, I don't think it's a fear because as i said uh, we trust in god we know that whatever we fast for whatever we pray for whatever if god allows it then we know it's going to be a success but um sometimes you know as a human you tend to worry a little bit if is it going to work is it going to be successful how are people going to react are they going to support it but um we, I, we just leave that in god's hand and we just pray that god will just send the supporters and just you know touch the hearts of everybody any fears only fear of poverty and we slowed him years ago kept his funeral service and you know ash do ashes to ashes dust to dust he's under you know six foot six so no fears we're here god brought us here we fasted we pray um uh there may be some challenges you know pushing forward but i'm ready i'm ready to dismantle your girl 
in pranks i'm ready to i'm ready for the challenge you know i just i just want to see her cry not in a bad way in a good way you know just prank her to see her reaction and yeah you know yeah i love her and stuff like that but uh no fears no fears already all set Well, the first month or two, um, you're going to see a lot of, first you're going to see trailers, you're going to see um, basically some introduction to um, YouTube. So you're going to see, you know, why we chose the logo, why we chose the name, um, what is the training camp all about. Um, then you're going to see a lot of back videos. Um, so we did a lot of past videos um, during last year, this year. Um, so you're gonna see those before you start seeing current videos. What to expect in the first month, a lot of videos. We've been working on this thing for so long. We have a plethora of videos, right? Um, if I may say one, even, uh, no, let me say two, like, the purchasing of our cars like we held that back from the media for such a long time right um moving we we no one knows where we live or what our space looks like not even our parents because we we told them that we're just going going to make sure that you know um it's conducive to what we want it to be first and you know we're gonna build in it and you know of course before ex you know exposing it to the world we definitely wanted to break into it first so there's a lot of videos trust me you guys are in for something so please expect a lot of a mixture of back videos with new videos and we're we're gonna be working on a lot of future videos so a lot of content will be coming here shanice has so much editing to do i have so much writing to do we have so much creating to do so just bear with us and please enjoy every step of the journey so you're gonna get before during and futuristic so get your popcorns get your soda because it's coming trust me any message i just want i just want you guys to um subscribe share like i just want you guys to support it um support the movement be a part of the family um don't be a stranger here um and I hope that you all will just learn from our experiences and as we will learn from yours as well. Um, I pray that, I hope that <laughs> we all will just grow on this channel and just blossom and be fruitful on this earth. That's all I can hope for. And a message for the audience, please send the best prank ideas to me and only me okay <laughs> i'm just kidding you can send them to her as well um any message to the audience thank you guys so 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 much at this given time where i'm doing this video we just surpassed 100 um subscribers every single milestone we believe this shanice and i wholeheartedly every single milestone should be celebrated we want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel for leaving the comments we, we we've seen the comments for responding to the messages that we send out to you guys asking for your support we definitely want to thank you guys so much for that and um please let us be a family please 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 let us be a family it's not just us doing this platform running this platform and growing when we grow we want you guys to grow because without you guys we're nothing without god we're nothing so let's just all be a family
Hey, Dad. Good one. Yeah. Oh, you think? What do you think?